The Port of New York and New Jersey is the largest port on the East Coast, third largest in the country. And in order for us to stay competitive, it's really essential that the infrastructure, including channel deepening, as well as a bridge that we're working on, uh, provides for the larger ships that's coming in. So the New York Harbor Deepening Program has consolidated the construction of four separately authorized deepening projects within the Port of New York and New Jersey. And in the process of doing that, we've had upwards of six contracts underway at any point in time. And the material, over 50 million cubic yards of dredge material, was all used, nearly all of it, beneficially in one form or fashion. The rock was used to create fishing reefs, the siltier materials was used to remediate upland impacted environments, and the sandy materials was used to do marsh restoration. All of this was done at a net cost savings of all of those various projects of over $800 million from what was originally estimated. Uh, I'm proud to say that uh, we were able to bring the project in significantly under budget, almost $800 million under budget, and we did that through a wide array of different, uh, different activities. We were able to set contract sizes that made good sense and, and ensured competition. We were able to use the materials beneficially. Uh, we did all these activities without ever closing the port to navigation traffic. And throughout, we kept good communication with all our partners. We were transparent on all our activities. And at the end, I think we have a great product uh, with, a great, uh, with a great process. And, and, and this project can be a model for future navigation projects in the country. So this project is extremely important to the region. With over 23% of the U.S. population in the Northeast uh, that's directly impacted by this port, and then when you also calculate in the 270,000 jobs and over $11 billion a year of income that's generated from the port. There are hundreds of things that come through the port. Most consumer products like electronics, um, things that you drink, beer, the uh, clothes that people wear, so almost everything that you touch, a number to keep in mind. Within about approximately 250 miles of the port, of New York and New Jersey is approximately 20% of the GDP for the entire country. That in and of itself to me is one of the reasons why we want to make sure that the cargo is able to flow here. And the importance of doing a project like the channel deepening, the importance of doing a project like raising the Bayonne Bridge is in fact to make sure that um, the economic vitality of this area and the economic impact this port has in, on the region continues. So let me talk a little bit about the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey. They were the non-federal sponsor for this project. What that means is they provided the local cost share uh, to, the, to the federal government that was required by federal law to construct this project. And in the end, the cost share for the deepening aspect of this project is about a 50-50 cost share. Uh, so the Port Authority and the Corps of Engineers have been attached at the hip from the beginning of this project and we have worked exceptionally well as a team to, to develop the strategies and to move this project forward. We have come to a moment in that we have brought the engines of government together to do the right thing, to create economic opportunity, to preserve our environment, to protect it for future generations of Americans, to protect the jobs, and to have them grow. So now we are in an excellent position to compete with any other eastern port because we have a much larger local market. We have 35 million people in our local market. Halifax is virtually none, Norfolk two or three million. But you have to be able to accommodate the, the deeper ships in order to take advantage of our natural geographic advantages. And this is. Uh, another opportunity for the New York, New Jersey re region to, to use as a vital port to provide uh, goods and services as well as a lot of important jobs for New York and New Jersey residents. It, it's a national security issue to, to make sure that we continue to be accessible. One of the more notable features of the New York Harbor Deepening Project is that we've had to drill and blast through various types of bedrock to do the deepening of the harp channels whether it was pegmatite rock or serpentinite in the upper bay of New York Harbor or the denser and more uh, difficult material like the diabase rock around Bergen Point. Our 
contractors have been able to employ some of the most sophisticated drilling and blasting techniques in this operation and have tailored their equipment to meet the needs of the rock as well as trying to minimize the impact on the surrounding communities. We did extensive public outreach before any blasting was done on any of the contracts that involved it to let the in, uh, community know what blasting was going to be done, what the effects would be, and also offering them a chance to have inspections done on their residences before and then after to ensure that no damage had been done from the contracts. You can look at different things as the beneficial use of dredge material, for instance. We use that for all sorts of different things, fishing reefs, oyster reefs, uh, restoring wetlands, capping landfills, and all that was done because of the work done through the partners and stakeholders. Well, beneficial use of dredge material is a term of where we are utilizing dredge sediments as a resource and not as a waste. And so we've used the sediment that was dredged from the harbor deepening for a multitude of beneficial uses, which includes capping landfills, many landfills in the region that were seeping contamination that were closed and, uh, and now have wonderful facilities on top like the Bayonne Golf Club, or used to stabilize the shoreline uh, to protect the Bell Parkway at Plum Beach was one example, as well as ecosystem restoration and creating wetlands and marsh islands that have been disappearing in Jamaica Bay. And so beneficial use of dredge material really advances the restoration of the ecosystem and the estuary. As we complete this milestone for the port, the Port Authority and the Corps are now looking forward to the future, the bigger container ships calling on the port and making sure that the port continues to serve the people of this region as well as the nation efficiently and effectively. We'll start with congressional members. Although they're not partners or stakeholders, they set up the success for this project. The Port Authority obviously is our biggest partner, is the co-sponsor of the project. But then as well, we had many non-governmental organizations and governmental organizations from New York City to New York State, New Jersey. So I'm thrilled that we could show that government can be a solution to a problem, not a hindrance. Uh, that we can create economic opportunities, that we can create good paying jobs, and that we can preserve our environment at the same time. It showed that one didn't have to come at the expense of another. And it proved that uh, at the end of the day, uh, we can meet our challenges when we come together in common cause to achieve the goal. Credit the, the Army Corps for staying with this project for well over 20 years and for the things that they did during the time of 9-11 when we had that horrible catastrophe in lower Manhattan that they had to serve there as well and they serve at home and abroad uh, uh, doing the work of freedom but in this case keeping uh, the en engine of our economy in the Northeast uh, open for business and it's been great to work with them but the partnership has been really immense and the Army Corps has been a wonderful partner to work with and all of the dredging companies that's involved and all of the heavy lift that's been at the state and federal um, level as well as the internal coordination that it took from the port authority itself to get this project done so it's an exciting project. Congratulations New York District Corps of Engineers Congratulations, Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, and congratulations to every other person who had a finger in this project. Your efforts have resulted in a great project, and I applaud you. Thank you. So this project spans so many different district commanders, and I'm the fortunate one that gets to bring it to a close. Uh, when you look at the dedication of our employees, the partners and stakeholders, how we're able to bring that. I can't be even more proud. It's hard to, hard to express how proud I am of how everybody came together to make this a reality. And, and then when you look at the far-reaching impacts across the region, uh, it, it just is it's a phenomenal thing that I can be a part of uh, and, and then also help celebrate this with everybody else that's been involved.